It's a cloudy day, but it's always a great day for pizza. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to Patio. It's a cloudy day, but it's always a great day for pizza. And that's what we're doing today. Just took the cover off our Alpha Pizza 4, and let's get this guy lit up. Now, the one thing I'll say is last time, the fire I made was just a little too big. I had a lot of small kindling, so I'm gonna go up a little larger today. And I'm going all the way to the back. We want to make sure that we keep our fire in the back portion of our pizza grill here. Pizza grill, pizza oven. Just so that the flame stays in here and does not go over top. But we will be closing the door. And that's what I'm gonna start with today. I think that'll be good. Get out our grill gun. That's more than enough. Just like that we're going. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on our door here. And I'm gonna give us an inch gap, just pulling it out. And that'll just make sure our flames don't come over here. We'll start getting our uh, heat and smoke rising at the top. And I'll bring you back when it's time to pull up the dough. So after about seven minutes, you can see our fire has cleaned up and it's looking good. And we're about 875 degrees, so we're hot. Not ready for cooking yet. I'm just gonna tend to my fire a little bit, get it all burning together. And since I'm in here, I'm actually gonna move it over to the side. And we'll just give this a quick sweep. And the one thing I'm gonna do while I'm here is I'm just gonna try and pick this piece of wood up and just lift it up a little bit. There we go. Just so I can get a little bit of air underneath of it. I moved it over just a little bit early, so I just wanna make sure it's gonna burn. It's gonna be a little bit before I bring everything out so we've got time. Got a nice clean fire burning in there. We're gonna let that burn for a little bit just to build up our coal bed. And then we'll start to add couple larger pieces as we get closer to our cook. So I've got good news and I've got bad news. I did officially make my own dough. However, the rain came out of nowhere uh, for tomorrow and I'm actually supposed to be working on this video tomorrow. And when the, the forecast shifted, I had to make this at 11 o'clock last night and didn't have time to pull out all the, uh, the cameras to film it. So you'll just have to wait till next time but I wanted to show you that I did legitimately make it. So what we're gonna do here, run this back inside real quick. This is for another video. All right, Let's see what we got here. The one thing I'm not gonna do is I am not going to go over how to make the sauce. I've recently done two calzone videos. So I think you guys have got the idea on that. And what we're doing, we're just pushing out to build a small crust. It's actually the first time I've made pizza dough with fresh yeast. blowing this way so I got a couple little ashes there now real quick just to make this sauce it's super simple it's just a can of good quality tomatoes a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper some fresh basil and two quick pulses not much to it however this will be the probably the first time 
where I'm not putting any uh, garlic or any other seasonings on my pizza in probably years. I just want to see what it tastes like. I haven't used this since I made my chicken last time, so this is the first official pizza I'm actually making in this guy. First time I've made dough as well for this, so we'll see what happens. And if you're curious, we're just using some, some double O flour. Of course, we need some cheese. I say this on all my pizza calzone videos. Take some time, grade your cheese yourself. I know this should be fresh mozzarella, but this is high quality mozzarella that I shredded myself. These pepperonis are gonna look huge on this little guy. go it's a pizza pie now we're sitting at 775 degrees it came down a little bit here we go just like that and into the oven we go Now I like my crust on the bottom, a little crunchy, so I'm trying to move it around to find some hot spots there. We're two and a half minutes right now, just to give you an idea. Just like that. See, we're done. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that just cool down for just a couple seconds. You can see I did get the crispness on the bottom. I am noticing I didn't do one of my things I like to do with pepperoni. I'll talk about that when this cools down. Well, as you can see, Got a nice dough that we're looking for. Great color. Got some crunchy crust there, not bad, not bad. Now the only thing that I forgot to do, and traditionally I don't make a lot of pepperoni pizza at home, but normally what I like to do is I like to put the pepperoni in paper towel between a couple pieces of paper towel, spread it out, put it in the microwave for like 20, 30 seconds, sometimes upwards a minute, depending on how thick slice. This was really thick slice. And just get some of the grease out of it. If you don't, it makes for a super greasy pizza, which I'm not a huge fan of. And if you don't have one of these guys and you want to get into making pizza, you need one of these. Uh, I didn't really realize what the difference was. The difference is, is that when you cut things, the toppings stay exactly <laughs> where they are, right? I have one of those wheels inside and my wife likes vegetables on her pizza. I mean, no vegetables for this guy. I mean, seriously. But what happens is you use that wheel and it pushes the cheese and all the toppings all on the other side. And when you make like, we usually we'll make one big pizza and I'll give her like a third of it. I'll eat the rest. And I end up pushing the meat or the vegetables on my side. So when you get something like that, it saves it. Not too bad. I need some. I need to work on my dough a little bit. It's got some nice crunch to it. It is airy, but it doesn't have the pockets I'm looking for yet. It's pretty damn good, though. Let me try this crust. Got some good pockets on the inside there now. Got a good chew to it. Man, I'll tell you what, for a first pizza, that's, that's outstanding. Great flavor. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the crust. It's not perfect yet, but it, it does taste good. I mean, the middle's not soggy or anything like that. It's not chewy. 
It was not over, overly dense. If anything, I thought it was a little soft when I was, when I was kind of making the pizza. But overall, cheers to me. Cheers to you if you're about to go on a pizza making venture. Give it a shot. Once I get a little bit more comfortable with this, I'm gonna have to do some heads of heads with this guy in my Komodo Kamalo. Cause this pizza is freaking good. That's all I got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. It's time for me to go in and stuff my face. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so below. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.